Hello everyone, and for today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to use the wrapping function of your auto layout. As you can see, I have this card component here that I just built. It's all done using auto layout, it's already responsible, so you can see the size changing. So let me hit enter to select everything that is being in this card. I have horizontal resizing set to few. So what I'll do now is to create multiple cards and wrap them in an auto layout. Let me add some few to it and set all these cards to the few container mode as well. So now when I change the size of this frame, you can see it starts shrinking and growing. But here in my auto layout properties, I have the option to set it to wrap. The indicator here has changed. But when I drag once again my frame with all the cards, nothing different happens. So for these auto layout settings of wrapping working properly, you have to set the minimal and maximum width. So let me select all the cards within this frame. And under here, the width option, I can click the chevron here and add minimum width. Let me set it to, let's say, 300, for example. And now, as you can see, red lines are shown to demonstrate that this is the minimal width that these cards can go, and they won't shrink to be smaller than that. So let me drag my container here. And as you can see, the card now starts wrapping as I drag. But then I reach the minimum level that is 300. You see that they don't shrink anymore. That's how you use the wrapping feature for auto layout in Figma. But if you want to go one step further, as you can see, this card here actually gets too distorted and doesn't look that good. So we can also set a maximum width. So let me select once again all the cards, come to the chevron, add a maximum width to it, say 600. As you can see, it automatically set guards, although my frame is bigger, the card won't grow bigger than 600. So let's check how it's looking. Yeah, so now I have this frame here fully responsible with the cards wrapping according to the size that I set as minimal and maximum, always making sure that it won't look too distorted for the content within. So that's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope you enjoy it and help you with your future designs. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and share it with your designer folks. And as always, I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.